Hi and welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you how to repair a thread using a helicoil kit. Let's jump to it. So we've got a Delorto carburetor and it's got a stripped M4 thread here and we're just going to show you how to drill it out, tap it and then put the thread insert in so that you don't have to scrap your $200 carburetor. So we have the carburetor with the damaged thread. This is a tap wrench, a pair of safety glasses and an M4 by 7 thread repair kit which comes with everything you'll need to repair the thread, the drill, the tap, the thread inserter, the tang breaker and obviously various thread inserts. Okay, so now you need to mount the carburetor in the vise. If you don't have a drill press at home or you're at the track and you damage a thread and you have a thread repair kit, you can do this job with a battery drill, but you just got to be careful that when you're drilling you try to get it as straight as you can because if you put the, the hole in on the angle, you'll, when you tap the thread the screw will go in and it, and it won't work perfectly. So mount the drill in the drill chuck, drill it up with the chuck key, put on your safety glasses, and then drill the hole. Okay, now you're ready to tap the hole. Next you want to mount the carburetor in the vise. Okay, so next up we're going to be uh, tapping that hole. So get your tap out of the kit. Uh, come over here. Now when you're tapping that, just push down ever so slightly. Um, you don't want to have too much angle one way or the other. So just get a couple of threads started. Uh, you don't have a lot to deal with here. And then just just check for square and you can use your eye normally pretty good because we've got the you can line the tap up with this uh, choke jet part of the assembly there and uh, I can just sort of eyeball it here and yeah I'm, I'm good to go but if you're on the if you make on the drink when you're trying to tap as you do the next turn just sort of push it in the direction that you want it to go but try not to get it in on a 45 degree because then when you stand it up it's being aluminium you'll just wreck the thread and then once it's started, and you know it's square, just half a turn forwards, and break the chips. This one being such a shallow hole, it won't be as critical. You could pretty much just tap it all the way home. But um, as the holes get deeper, you need to break the chips off, otherwise the tap will get stuck. And especially in metal and some harder materials, you will start to break taps. Because if you just break the chips off, here in the aluminium, it's just a good practice. So you can see, you can see here that we've just tapped this hole out. You can see the new thread there, and now it's ready for the helicoil insert. So we've got the inserting tool and the helicoil. And you can see here on the back, it's got a little tab. It's notched out here, so once you've inserted the thread in, so you can knock that bit off. But that's what we use to drive it in, in the end of this tool. So you get your insert, blow that out, put that, put the that guy on there like so, and then insert the and just it's just a normal right hand thread sometimes they can be a bit tricky to get started but just just push it in so now we've inserted the thread all the way down until it's flush with the body just like so and the next os operation is to grab your little tool that comes in the kit and the t-bar wrench or you could use a hammer and just with a light tap you break that little tab off 
job's done. Now this is like brand new and we're good to go. Okay, so that's how you use a helicoil kit to repair a thread. They come in all different sizes and you can use them in steel, aluminium, magnesium, plastic, it doesn't matter. But the fundamental process is always the same. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments section below. You can find us at Power Republic on Facebook and Instagram or www.powerrepublic.com.au. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.